Well, it does, obviously, because it's another uh, pipeline, but we've already assumed that it's going to be in place. So, and, and the reason for that is because there's so much supply coming out of Western Canada and the Bakken that we need pipeline capacity. So that project, uh, we're assuming, uh, gets built. What is your one big worry right now as CEO of a pipeline company? You're building everywhere, you're hiring people, we've got this explosion underway. What's the one sort of wild card that you might lose sleep over? Well, first of all, it has to do with the safety aspects of any project. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that keeps us all up at night. We want to make sure we're doing things very safely. I would say other than that, it really has to do with the opposition that you see to energy projects generally today. So we have to work through that process very carefully. How do you even do that? Yeah, it takes time. We have to start early. And importantly, I think we have to engage with uh, uh, communities a lot more than we used to in the past. And uh, we've had actually a pretty good track record of, of um, you know, speaking with communities, explaining uh, what a project's all about, but it takes more and more of that in today's environment. And I think it tells you that people want uh, energy development done in a sustainable way. Do you think there will be tougher regulations coming out of the U.S. in the second Obama administration? I'm not so sure about tougher, but what I can say from our perspective is we're trying to lead the regulations. Uh, we're trying to exceed uh, what's required so that we can make absolutely sure that we're doing things in a, in a proper and safe way. Tell me a little bit about your outlook for profitability, margins, cash flow, since you have so much going on this year in particular, you've made a lot of investments, how's it going to translate to your shareholders? Well, that's a great question. Well, from our perspective, what we're looking at is pretty much 10 to 12 percent earnings per share growth over the next four or five years. And the reason for that is because we have 27 billion dollars in projects that are what we call commercially secured, which means we have commercial underpinning for those projects and they are in progress. So if we can execute well, which goes back to our previous discussion around construction and design, if we can do that well, we will be able to generate 10 to 12 percent earnings per share growth. And in our business, that's critical because that also drives uh, dividend growth. So for us, uh, it's about you know providing growing dividends and making sure we've got a good, sustainable, and growing uh, uh, earning stream.